coverage of high school tennis tonight in Northwest Suburban Conference matchup between the Coon Rapids Cardinals and the Anoka Tornadoes. Joe Young and Howie Shapiro bringing you all of the action. And uh, Howie, the Cardinals off to a great and start at eight and two. Yeah, really nice start for Coon Rapids, and they're a strong season coming in. They're playing an Anoka team that's three and seven coming into this contest. And and as always, we're going to start off with uh, first singles and then move over to first doubles. But it's uh, couldn't have picked a nicer day to come out and do some tennis. Nope, a little bit cooler than it has been in the last week and a half or so. The temps have come down, and uh, but a gorgeous sunshine hitting the court and very little wind. We start with, as you mentioned, first singles, Emily Bauer, the sophomore player for the Cardinals, facing senior Aaron Blank for tor the Tornadoes. Uh, Emily Bauer, a sophomore for Coon Rapids, uh, you know, really has been finding her way at first singles, and it is not, of course, the, the most uh, experienced position here, but uh, it's, it's a position that, of course, it's uh, important nonetheless, and it looks like Emily wins that first, first game. Takes a 1-0 lead. Yeah, and then tough, to, tough yeah. for us to, to figure out when they start. They go right from practicing <laughs> into starting. So we missed a little bit of that first game, but a quick drink of water, and they get right back to action. Yeah, two sophomores and two freshmen making up the singles lineup for head coach Mike Rhea and the Cardinals, and uh, a very senior-dominated uh, doubles lineup that uh, starts off with a pair that made it to state last year. You saw the singles player for Anoka, Erin Blank. She's a senior. She's a player that has really played mostly doubles this year, Joe, and she's uh, moved up to singles trying to find some continuity, as is Coon Rapids in that first singles position. Well, I'm talking to Coach Rhea a couple of times, uh, first at the, at the preview when we did the interview, and then again uh, in some emails that he has sent me over the last couple of weeks as he keeps me updated. Uh, on his team's progress, you know, he he says we need to we need to sweep up in the doubles, and then we just need one win in the singles lineup to uh, to get the victory. Uh, last week against Blaine, they lost a tough one for three, unable to get that one win out of singles, but they bounced right back and got a couple of wins over Park Center and Osseo uh, to get them to the eight and two mark where they are now. Well, they actually played the Andover after, right after Osseo. They won 5-2, and then they played Elk River, uh, I believe it was yesterday well, they, or the day before. They played Andover yesterday, yeah. or on Monday. Monday, and then Elk or River, Tuesday. I believe, yesterday. Andover Tuesday, Elk River or yesterday. yesterday. Yep. They lost 2-5 uh, to Elk River. And Elk River, one of those perennial powers in the Northwest Suburban. That game actually rescheduled. was supposed to be their opening match of the Northwest Suburban schedule. Uh, it's supposed to be back on, I believe, the 30th of August, but was rescheduled. And uh, that gave the Cardinals a chance to wade in against uh, some of the other teams before facing Elk River, which is one of the powers. Centennial, another very strong program here in the Northwest Suburban. Yeah, both Elk River and Centennial in the top 10 in the rankings on Tuesday morning. And so this is a tough conference, and you know we you talked about Blaine. Blaine handed him a tough defeat at 4-3. Well, and uh, and then you also have to. While they're not in the conference, you also have to pay attention to the uh, progress of the Moundsview Mustangs, yes. as they are a section opponent and typically the favorite in the this section. Also, a team in the top ten in the state in the state. To the point. And Blank not able to return a shot from Bauer. That one's going to be a little bit long. And that'll give game two to Aaron Blank. So both players breaking serve. I don't think this one's over yet. Well, it wasn't. No, because I thought Bauer I thought just serving in game two. I thought yeah, Blank was serving. Well, one of us is right. <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't give. It doesn't give. Give uh, the odds are pretty good. It's 50-50 one way or the other. 
The problem is they don't, uh, they don't continually update the score, so they usually don't do it until they switch sides. It's probably you. You're always right. So, well, let's not go that. <laughs> that shot is long by blank. It's tough to hear. I didn't hear if she called uh, ad or not. Perfect out lob opportunity. That's going to hit the net and be short. Strong overhead smash for the yep. point by Bauer. First serve into the net. Now let's see what uh, her second serve has to offer. Second serve always the most tricky. Sometimes you don't want to put as much power as you do in the first, but you got to make sure you don't leave it too shallow, allow your opponent to come to the net. That one is wide. That's going to be the game for Bauer. And that's going to make it 2-1 in her favor. Yep. So what do you know? I was you right. Were, well, I told you you're always right. I see the winning point. Going to go wide. And I think we're going to be in store for an interesting uh, doubles match when we get a chance to go over and watch them. The team of Stork and Havelka undefeated at 9-0. I think that is incorrect. Well, it came right from the coach. I think he was uh, had selective memory on that because they did lose a match in the Huskies Invitational. Okay. Where they maybe he's not counting that. Where they took uh, <laughs> second place in that doubles tournament. One of three Cardinals teams to finish in second place in the doubles tournament. I believe they lost to the Centennial duo. Either Centennial or Andover. But I know that they won their match uh, against Andover on Tuesday. Bauer can't get a chance to come to the net. Now oh, she's gonna not able to hit that return cleanly, hits it right into the net. Bauer trying to keep her pinned on the baseline, got a little too aggressive. Well, Blank's uh, return was a little was a little short, so allow Bauer to come to the line, but she wants to control, try and control that play from the net. Or, I'm sorry, come to the net. Had her on the run, trying to come back to the near side, but gets to the top of the net and falls behind 15-30. That one's going to be long, so she double faults. Not a good position to double fault in. Give Blank a double break point. And she gets one of those points back. So far, the no one has won their service nope. in the first three games. And that's uh, you, usually if it's the, it's the other way around, you just everyone wins their service, and usually you don't see the breaks as often. That one's back into the net, and that'll bring this one back to Deuce. as strong a second serve. See if that fares well for Blank as she's, uh, Bauer's gonna hit a long. Okay. 
So it'll be add out for Aaron Blank of Anoka. Trying to break serve and bring this one back to a 2-2 tie in the first set. Approaching the net and nicely played. That was a nice return shot from Blank. Got a little mustard on that. You can see she, she gets to the net. One wide? I think she played it wide. She did. So back to Deuce. A nice one deep at the baseline. There's a nice Not, shot. Yeah, nicely played because she, she did a nice job on her forehand keeping Bauer deep to the baseline, and she's able to, to charge the net. Did a nice job just with a little bit of a volley over the net to get that point. Nice play nice. down the line yeah, that's by what, Bauer. That's what you want to do when your opponent comes to the net. You got to keep them deep, and you got to try and play that far corner if you can. And nice job by Emily Bauer doing that. You're going to see she's going to get her opponent to the net, and then she's going to play that far corner. So Deuce again. And Blank plays it wide. So advantage Bauer. First service long. Good strong backhand. And I got her to the point. She kind of got it in close to the body of Emily Bauer, and Emily couldn't get a full swing on it. Now they're certainly fighting for this fourth game. Good strong backhand again by Aaron Blank. Gets her another point and back to advantage. Oh, she's just, uh, again, being a very aggressive and attacking the ball. She's going to come in and attack it and then, and then rush to the net. Bauer couldn't get a good return on it, but then she's already got position at the net to try and win that point if Bauer gets that back cleanly. And that'll give game four to Aaron Blank and move it back to a 2-2 tie here in the first set. Again, can, another break of service. First uh, service wide. Boy, she is good with that two-handed backhand. Yep. Uh, Trying to approach the net, got on top of it a little too much. Well, she plays it right because she's, as you mentioned, a nice, solid two-handed backhand, keeping Emily Bauer deep, and then she makes sure she tries to control the net. Just that time, she just couldn't get her volley back. Double fault, Blank falls quickly behind Love 30. No, that wasn't a double fault. Oh, I thought that was second. No. Oh, short volley. That's gonna go long. Make it 15 all here in game five. You see the lobs a little bit short. But uh, Bauer not able to get it back down the line.
That's going to be in the net. And that'll put Bauer back in the driver's seat, 15-30. And plays it wide, yep. and it'll be a double break point now for Emily Bauer. That was the position that Bauer found herself in on her last service and able to fight back and through several deuce points, but uh, eventually Blank able to get the victory. And a nice play right to the feet. There wasn't much that Aaron Blank could do with that. And once again, we have a broken serve. And you get you get uh, blank to backpedal, and then once she started backpedaling, she had no opportunities. You mentioned and a good placement by Bauer. It was deep, and then you're going to see Blank come up and just not uh, backing up, not getting anything on that shot. Three two in favor of Emily Bauer. But you're right, that's interesting that uh, no service advantage yet in this uh, in this first set. Aaron Blank over to have a chat with her head coach, Chad Fellows. We talked about uh, Aaron Blank had been playing had been playing doubles in the first part of the season, and Coach Fellows moved her up to first singles, and she's learning her way. Yeah, and the tennis season is so fast. Yeah, it definitely um, is. They get started before anyone else, and uh, I mean already, you know, nine, ten matches. 10 matches into the season. Only a couple of weeks left and they'll start to see conference yep. tournament play and section tournament play. All right, we're about to get back underway with Bauer up 3-2. See if Emily can win her serve. Well, and I, it would be kind of interesting in that play right to the back line, and, and Bauer found herself in that position that she got the winner on on blanks. Oh, I think I think too close to it. I, well, and I think she may have thought it misjudged it and going to go out, yep. and so by the time it realized it was in, she wasn't able to get a full swing on it. But uh, it would be interesting to hear what uh, the coach's strategies are, you know knowing that uh, neither player has been able to win their serve. And what Where's kind of Tori Holt when you need him? Encouragement. <laughs> that one's going to be long. And now Bauer up 30-15. Is that for and us? It's not, and Is it's that not for us only, for impersonating tennis announcers? <laughs> and it's not only that the uh, service has not won a, ma a game yet, but rarely has, has the person with the serve been in the lead. Yep. And Bauer not coming to the net much. She's had some opportunity. Now it's going to be long. You try and like to mix it up a little bit and keep your opponent guessing if, by, by going to the net as well. That one's gonna be wide. And I believe that'll make it 30-40. And another break point for Aaron Blank. I'll give the, the game or the uh, yeah the game to uh, to Blank, so it'll make it three three. Broken serve, how shocking! Huh. It's but just uh, the norm for this first set.
first serve can be a little wide. I'll tell you, breaking, uh, if you can win your serve, that's that's big because you're maybe getting ahead of your opponent a little bit. Typically, we talk about the importance of trying to break. break yeah, it, now that now it's serve, but <laughs> that one's out a little bit wide. The point again is going to just get a little wide. And a double full. Ouch. Sometimes you concentrate so hard on, on getting that second serve in that you hit, you miss hit it or you just don't hit it hard enough. First serve is long. Uh, uh. Nice recovery yeah. by Aaron Blank. Looks like a looked like possibly a winner shot by Bauer, but Blank with good hustle. It was a nice drop shot, but Blank uh, sometimes that top of the tape is your friend. That time it was definitely her friend as it skipped off it. Oh, nice job by Bauer that time, just, just getting a little bit of English on it and letting it just just miss the top of the net. Tough job for Aaron Blank to get back to that ball. And that's going to give the game to Emily Bauer. Makes it 4-3 her favor. Seven games, Seven, not a service yeah, win yet. incredible. Now here, this would be a huge opportunity for... Emily Bauer will be the first player to win her service because if she does, that would make it 5-3 and put Blank in a little bit of a hole. There's head coach Mike Rhea. little instruction to his young his singles young singles, player. Yep. And uh, as you informed me before the match, this will be his final season as head coach. Or oh, did I tell you I was kidding? No, he, it is definitely his final season as head coach. In fact, he uh, has already applied for the co-commentator's job when we do tennis next year. I told him it was, it's all his. get somebody who knows what they're talking about to sit in with us. It is nice <laughs> when we have yeah. that help. We have had the uh, benefit of having uh, Coach Scott Stork sit in with us, former Coach Bob Pivik. Yep. Uh, we had someone else. Rod actually. Laver that one time. Who? <laughs> uh, you know, nice I'm play dating to the back line. Rod Laver was one of the uh, top players in the world from Australia years uh, years ago when, when I was your age. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Young, younger than that. When when you were the player's age and I was uh, either an infant or yet to be born. A zygote. <laughs> Big word for Shapiro. I know. I just wanted to kind of compare heights. You're about the same same height then as you are now. So. Ouch. <laughs> Short jokes, old jokes. <laughs> We're just flinging them. A drop shot by Bauer. Brings blanks to the net. Couldn't get the lob over. That one just a bit wide. Yeah, she you know she had the uh, opportunity to uh, with blank at the net to lob it a little bit further, but just couldn't get the height on it that she wanted. Allowing Blank to return the shot. And then Emily hits it wide, or hits it long.
just a bit long. First service wide, Joe Yund. Blank. Well, she had she had a couple of play, chances to really put her away, but she didn't do it. And she's going to lose this point. She had a couple of opportunities at the net to uh, to redirect that and win the point, but she didn't do it. And I've lost count. I don't I think this might be game point th though. And as we talked about uh, how huge it would be to win a serve yes. at this point in the first set. Good opportunity for Blank, but she didn't quite get the angle she wanted. And I was wrong. Yeah. It was not game point, but now it must, must be. be. Yeah, it must be. Uh, it just has to be. <laughs> oh, gorgeous drop shot, but a nice recovery by Blank. Bauer will get the winner down the line, and she does get the victory. Was, it was a beautiful move up five yeah, three. It was a beautiful drop shot by Bauer, and then a, and a nice return by blank but sometimes when you put that weak shot over you give you the your opponent that far core or that corner and emily bauer did a nice job of hitting it so now it's five three if bauer can fall suit for the what the majority of this match has been going she could put it up put it away Double yep. fault. Puts Blank in a hole. Love 30. I'm not sure Aaron Blank thought that that first service was out. Called by Emily Bauer. She looked a little, little disappointed in the call and then didn't, uh, wasn't able to hit it cleanly on her second attempt. Find that uh, her attack hits the net, and she'd been she'd been successful that on that early on in this match, with that nice backhand and able to rush the net. And she is in a big hole now yep. at Love 40, and uh, this will be a triple match point or set point, I should say. Yep. Now puts pressure on that second serve. And that'll do it. Emily Bauer will take a 6-3 win in set one. Yeah, I thought that was going to go a little differently uh, the way that they had neither one of them been able to win a service. So I thought it was going to go right down to the wire. But uh, Emily did a nice job of well, there winning was only that her one service. service yeah, but there was only one service win in the, right. in but the I, whole set. Right. But I thought it would, the way it was going to go back and forth, it was, you know, but the We'd fact that we talked about it. Exactly. But we t the way we talked about it is that big win at for, to make it to 5-3 on Emily Bauer's service gave her the advantage. And we are going to move over to the doubles court where Brianna Havelka and Libby Storick of Coon Rapids have a 4-1 lead over Whitney Leisner and Danny Peterson of Anoka. 
Havelka on the serve. I believe Anoka just won their last serve to get their first win. Yes. But so far, Havelka and Stark controlling in this first set. Well, again, a pretty, pretty tough duo here. Pretty experienced. Yeah, that's the one thing. They've played together for a long time and been successful at it. Double fault. And Are li they Libby not shot? happy. Yeah, Libby. That's, yeah. that's uh, Brianna serving. Oh, Brianna. Did I say Libby? You did. I'm sorry. It's easy to get them confused. They do tend to yeah. be seen together quite a bit. I actually know which ones they are. I just it wasn't. They play yeah. three sports together. together. Yep. Tennis, basketball, and lacrosse. Yep. Um, and outside of school, I see them together quite a bit. They're inseparable, in other words. Pretty close. Yeah. Nice play by... Peterson. Leisner can't quite get the angle on it. Oh, I'm backwards. Oh, that's Pe I? yeah, Leisner. Leisner is a little bit taller. Yeah, and Peterson has the headband. Head the head, correct. I'm going to write that down here. Headband. Headband. <laughs> Sunglasses. 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 Sunglasses, Leisner, <laughs> headband, Peterson. There you go. You got it. I'm on it. Great opportunity for Storick at the net and didn't quite get on top of it. They got the graphics right though. They, they do. No question, the guys in the truck are the brains behind this operation. We've known that for years. What does that make us? The mouths? <laughs> the mouths, the, the talking heads. Point uh, for the Cardinals. I believe that'll bring us back to 30-30. Yep. Approach hit the net. Oh, what a nice return by Whitney Leisner. Right at Libby yeah. Stork. Not a lot she could do with it. And that'll give Anoka a big break point here. And they a nice job deep at the line. And a good winner by Leisner. And that'll give them the win and put it to four to two. Break of serve for the duo from Anoka. And they know they're playing, as you mentioned, a pretty tough competitor. Want to keep it as close as possible. And that was a big game for them. First serve by Peterson a little long. Turned by uh, Leisner a little bit long. A little long for Storic on the return. Oh, good, good thought. Use that powerful forehand and put it right at the feet of Peterson. But they could, uh, as you mentioned, a little bit too much on it. Fifteen all and a good play to the back line, and Peterson couldn't get it back over, and that'll put Storic and Havelka in front.
Van Ken just uh, a little bit too short. Hits the, hits the top of the, hits the tape. First service a little bit long. Nice play by Stork, putting it right at the feet of Whitney Wiseman. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You give your opponent no opportunity to hit that one back. Smart tennis. See it again, good approach. Right at the feet. Gets the applause from her opponent. Break point, Coon Rapids. And a nice play at the net by Leisner. Evens it up a deuce. from the net, and that one's long. Yeah. And it'll be advantage for Havelka and Storick. I well, think get the break right back, go up 5-1, controlling this first set. 5-2? Uh, 5-2, that's true. I'll teach you for looking at the, uh, yep. at the score. <laughs> However, you rarely learn. Uh, and there it is. That one is wide, and the Cardinals break serve, and we'll have a chance to serve for the win in set one. And nice job controlling this uh, this first set for the Coon Rapids duo. And just glancing over to uh, I know I know that uh, Bauer won that first game in the second set. I'm not sure what game they're in, but I'm not sure either. But I could have told you that too. Yeah, I already have it written down. Even you're you're on top of it, Joe Yun. See, they, they are so inseparable that <laughs> one parent brings drinks for both kids. Uh, they must take turns. <laughs> I, I have run across them at the store yep. together several times. That's Sports Authority, by right. the way. Please buy all your sporting goods. At Sports Authority, we are your sporting good. <laughs> There's authority. a shameless plug. That's for Joe. Everything sporting good. Uh, but I've, I think I've actually run into a couple of times, one of them with the other one's parents. When ah. It's a very bizarre deal. But both families very close. And of course, we've known both Brianna and Libby for quite some time. Somebody's going to retrieve. Oh, Coach Aria is going to retrieve the ball. Oh, he does it all. Yeah, he does it. Does yeah, it he is everything here. Well, he was the one to, to uh, toss the Gatorades over the fence to, to his players and then go retrieve balls. And And a double fault for Storick. I think that's two in a row. Yeah, not the way uh, that's tough. she's wanted to start here up 5-2. Chance to close out the first set. And another one that's long. And this is where you have the mental game is Absolute, so important. You absolutely. just have to be able to shake it off. You start thinking, I have to be, has to be in it, has to be in. And nice play at the net by Peterson. You psych yourself up sometimes and it makes your job even more difficult. That'll get her one point back as Peterson unable to return. But 1540, big hole to dig out of. That one's a little bit long.
Strong play at the net by Havelka, and Peterson had to kind of lunge for it. And it's 30 for you. High lob, too long. And a break of service for Anoka. Shapiro on I was, it. He uh, threw the headset down. I, he was ready to go. I dove for it. <laughs> I just want to say, I want you to say, Shapiro does it all. <laughs> that line will probably never come out of my mouth. That, that is true. I much can't write. I'm not a writer, so that's true. You are. Shapiro gets all the adoration. Now that line comes out of my eye. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> it's just very much more believable. <laughs> uh. well, the, the first return by Stork was uh, a little bit short, and Havelka bailed her out. Cardinals were quickly ahead, love 30, but the short return will get the Tornadoes a point, 15-30. Great play by Havelka, Leisner, or Peterson tried to lay a tricky one over there. But yeah, she, she laid it perfectly for her. So you're gonna see the Served by Leisner, and then she's going to try and do that little bit of a drop, but Velka right there put it away. Now, Coon Rapids with two chances at set point. And that one is wide, and the Cardinals will take set one, six, three. Oh, nice. Uh, Nice win, first set for the doubles team for Coon Rapids, and now it looks like Emily Bauer up three nothing in her set number two, already winning the first one six three. before they start that second set. Yeah, and a pretty pretty solid set for Havelka and Storic. And they'll ser serve first, see if they can jump out early here in the second set. First one a little bit long. by a little bit too much power. By, yep. By Leisner. A little too much mustard. Double fault. Yeah, you want to keep your second serve long if possible or put spin on it that time. A little bit too long for Brianna Havalka. And just a little bit long on the return there by Peterson. 30-15. Good 
play at the net there by Leisner for the point. As Starks return just uh, a little soft and Leisner right there at the net. Powerful put back. Reduce. Leisner backhand, backhand is into the net. Does that make this game point? Advantage, yes, advantage yeah. Coon Rapids. Nice play to the corner by Leisner. Got a little, a little too high on that uh, return volley for Stork and allowing Leisner just to place it where she wanted it. Good play by Stark yeah. again, going right at Peterson. Yeah, strong play at the net by Libby Stark. Give Coon Rapids another chance to take this early lead here in set two. Oh. And that's how it's done, folks. Yeah, absolutely. You leave it uh, that high, you're trying to go down the line, and an easy play at the net for Libby Stork. Return of service is right there. Perfect pickings. Strong return. We'll applaud from her opponent and a nice point. Switching back over to first singles. They are in game five here in the second set. Not sure who won game four, uh, but Emily Bauer of Coon Rapids had the 3-0 lead. I don't know what was going on, but the, the two players <laughs> just met at the net and discussed something for a little while. Oh, nice nice drop. Shot. Yeah. Good job by uh, Emily Bauer to win that point. They're keeping each other deep, and then she's able to uh, put a little spin, a little English on it, get it to drop over. Uh, return a lob of a, a playable one for Aaron Blank, but Blank miss hit it and hit it right into the net. And that, I take it, must have been a little bit point. No, it was long. Wait, it was long. Service was long. Wasn't blank just serving there? Okay, maybe not. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Here. <laughs> oh, and that uh, great opportunity for Bauer at the net, and she plays it wide. I, th I could have sworn that blank was serving when we started, when we came back over. How to sound like an idiot in broadcast. <laughs> I wrote the book, folks. I thought that was broadcasting for dummies. <laughs> no, broadcasting like dummies. Oh, like a dummy. <laughs> we, we, wrote, we wrote that book together. Yes, well, absolutely. We're still writing that book. <laughs> that book is not finished. It's one of those really big ones. <laughs> At least five, 600 pages. There's only a couple of words per page. Lots, yeah, of, well, lots and lots I, of pictures. You know, I'm getting old. It's tough for me to see, so I get those b big letters. Huge font. Yeah.
think Blake's trying to get her to come to the net. That one's just a little bit wide. long a couple of nice uh, solid strokes from Emily Bauer Looks like our match on court one is finished, Joe Yen. I'm not sure if that was fourth sing or no, that was, was third doubles, yeah. I think. Must be, because it's not over by Miller. Yeah. That went into the net. Um, that'll give a game to uh, Aaron Blank. We'll see what the updated score is here. It's going to be 4-1, four four one, one. I bet. Yep, 4-1. A little break, take a little, get a little hydration in them, and we'll start this uh, sixth game. Emily Bauer trying to win in straight sets, up 4-1. That first set went back and forth. Neither neither player won their service until Emily did it in game. What was that? Game seven. Game eight? Game eight, that's right. I'm Bauer. I'm going to try and stay away from Blank's backhand. Yeah, absolutely. Her backhand is uh, much more power out than her forehand. Well, and accurate, too. And, uh, yep. Good volley going here. Right nice, to that corner. Yeah, nice job getting blank on the run. Bauer able to win her first two services. Get the opportunity and gets her on the run, finds that far back corner. Let serve. not able to get to that one. Bauer's got that nice little chop yep. to get that spin it's on that those shots, yep. on that cross shot. She's been successful with it in this first two sets. Trying to break serve here, go up 5-1.
That time Blank uh, coming to the net misplayed that one and hit it into it. Bauer just won that uh, game 5-1 up now. So she's going to be able to serve for the match. Well, and uh, Storick and Havelka up 4-1 in their second yep. set at first doubles right now as well. Their, their match just sailing Yes, along. it is. And the, the score is in the two courts have been identical, but uh, they started about 10 minutes behind the, the singles game and have caught up. Played the same number of games, and so far the same resulting score. Well, I suppose uh, I suppose first singles up one game here at five to one. First point goes to Bauer. You see a good volley back and forth. She's going to get uh, Blank up here to come and hit it into the net. That one's going to go short as well. 30 love yep. in favor of Emily Bauer. Well, this is a point now you... Uh, you have, you have your opponent on the ropes and up 30 love. You just uh, have to make sure you just get the next two points and finish your match. Or at least two of the next four. Well, at least two of the next four, but you'd like to get them right here. Oh, great. Nice shot by Emily Bauer. She's Got Blank up against the up to the net again. Now she is a point away from a two set win. Uh, she is serving for match point. Um, I talked about nice shot. Libby Stork just made a very impressive play at the net. I believe they're up love 40 in game six over here. First service a little bit long from Emily Bauer. See her come to the net a lot. That beautiful play at the net by Aaron Blank to stay alive. Uh, both, uh, both. Doubles, first doubles and first singles on the verge of uh, winning in two. Played it behind her, and Emily Bauer will get a 6-3, 6-1 win over Aaron Blank. And we quickly move to uh, first doubles, where this uh, this match is being controlled by the Cardinal duo. Libby Storick serving. And uh, they are up 5-1 here in the second set after getting a 6-3 win in the first. Thirty fifteen, the score. Oh, nice play down yep. the line by Peterson to tie things up. 
I think maybe Velka thought that was going out and the long right way to run for Libby Stork to try and get that. Some power on that one for Whitney Leisner, a little too much. And now it will be match point. And Havelka, nice play at the net. This one is into the corner, and Stark thought it was going raw, long, and uh, then she whiffed on it, and it's Deuce. <laughs> Able to laugh <laughs> at herself, and well, that's yeah, good. Well, yeah, absolutely, that happens. Let's see that one again. Thought that was the winning shot right there, and I'm just going to let it go. Oh, wait, it found the corner. <laughs> And a missed. Double and a fault. double fault will make it advantage Anoka. You know, when you are up 5-1, though. You can't afford those you mistakes. Can, yes, yep. and, and you can afford It's a little easier to laugh at yourself. Yeah, absolutely, if it's a close versus a close match. A little bit long, a little wide. A little bit of both, a little both. And back to row. back, double faults. Keeps Anoka alive. That makes it 5 2, and we're going to change sides. I whip. I know. And as they move over to, to get some refreshments, they are right by our microphone, so you can pick up a little bit of that conversation. And again, you know, it's nice to, to uh, be able to laugh about those types yes. of mistakes. When you're up five Easier two. to do when you're up 5-2 as opposed to being down 5-2. <laughs> now here they're just looking for a, a break of uh, serve from the Anoka pair. And looking to close it out here in this game. They have been able to do it twice in this set. Maybe they wanted a little more TV time. And that could rightfully be so. Yeah, absolutely. They deserve it. Absolutely. They've done it twice. They've broken serve twice in the this set, six times in the match. Too anxious on that one from Libby Stark. You saw her opening. Try to put it between Leisner and Peterson. It went a little bit too long. I know. Double fault for Leisner. That is out. Yeah, that was right was at it? the Anoka player yep. in the next court. Fortunately, she was Quick able reactions. to. Uh, she was able to <laughs> catch it in time and defend herself. Puts Cardinals up 15:30, I believe. Yes. Oh, and Avalka had that far, whole far side just, uh, and she and she knew it. A little disappointed in herself. A little bit of a have a smile, like I should have had that point. Long and wide on the first. Again, a, a miss hit. Uh, nice catch, Nick. Yeah, good job. Speaking of doing it all, <laughs> holding the camera, catching the tennis ball, doing the hula hoop, all at the same time. There it is. 
There you go. Multi-talented, yep, quick absolutely. reactions. And he got the shot all the way into yeah. his body, too. Fantastic. The play into the net, I believe, will take us to Deuce. Yes. Lob, Pavelka, long run. That's out. And that'll give him up to the advantage. Nice lob to the back, far corner. Pavelka not able to get the clean return. A little bit long again. This play by Peterson, the net brings back to Deuce. Nice play down the line by Havelka. We'll take it to advantage Coon Rapids with a break point and match point. Well, that's what she was looking. That's the kind of shot she was looking for a couple of times here in this game, and wasn't able to hit it cleanly. And that uh, at service, not able to be returned by Stork. Going to put it uh, back to Deuce again. Double fault. Double fault will give the advantage to the Cardinals. <laughs> I think Danny Peterson asked, are you serious when she called that uh, second serve out? I think they're aiming for Nick now. <laughs> well, they're going to see what he can do. They're going to really put him to the test. Here's a big second serve for Whitney Leisner. And right down the line for the win. And the Cardinals will win 6-3, 6-2. Yeah, nice, uh, nice job by the doubles team of Brianna Havelka and Libby Stork. They are a very successful duo. We talked about a lot of experience playing together at the high school level. State tournament experience. They continue with their strong play. And uh, they may just have continued their undefeated streak to 10-0. and 0. It, As long as uh, you're not counting the, the doubles tournament. I know they did suffer one loss in the doubles tournament, but uh, well, it's not like that's, that. not, that's not <laughs> match play. No. It's tournament play. It's tournament so play. perhaps so that, that's a 9-0 and, and now 10-0 in, in, match, in play. match play. Correct. But nonetheless, so. uh, they're pretty good. They are pretty good, pretty strong. And uh, again, you know, they're, they're a state tournament duo, hoping to make it back there again as seniors. I know that's their goal. So, but I don't, I, I, don't know, they, I don't know. I think they made it last year. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure too. <laughs> Gosh, what do we know? Remember, we're writing the book. <laughs> we are. It'll just be another chapter, another <laughs> another thing to, to write about. Yeah. Uh, Things you kick yourself about later. So, Here's a look at what we have coming up for you here on CTN. Football live from the Cardinal Sports Complex on Friday night as they take on, the Cardinals take on the Osseo Orioles. Then next week, we've got volleyball from Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse live at 7 o'clock. The Cardinals taking on the Maple Grove Crimson. Thursday of next week, we'll be over at the pool. 
Watching a little swimming, Coon Rapids against Champlin Park. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, a couple of straight sets victories for the Cardinals. Emily Bauer wins 6 3 6 1 at first singles. And at first doubles, it's Libby Storick and Brianna Havelka winning 6 3 6 2. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us to continue to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including the one, the only Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.